Hi boys and girls, today we are going to learn a little bit about Cinco de Mayo. Even though Cinco de Mayo is yesterday, today we are going to lead, uh, read an article on guidedreaders.com. So you are actually going to go to your passages and I will also be sending you the article as well via Google Classroom. So before we begin, I want you to take a look at the article. I have it in front of me as well. And I want us to make sure that we read this article three times, right? Based on the title, what do you think we are going to learn about today? We are going to focus on this passage for the next few days. Right now, I want you to read this text and use your highlighter or something as you are reading. I want you to think about what you think the main idea is of the entire story. So as we are reading, we're going to think, okay, what is the strong main idea, right? What is the biggest component of what we are reading? If we're reading about Cinco de Mayo, are we talking about elephants, right? So as we read, we are going to find a topic sentence, the main idea with a bunch of details that are going to show us what we are reading about. So today we're going to use the think aloud strategy to demonstrate what questions we are going to ask ourselves as we read. As I read this passage, I can ask myself some questions. I'm going to begin. Please feel free to read with me aloud. Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican holiday. Many people of Mexican heritage live in the United States, so it is celebrated by many Mexican Americans too. I want you to think in your mind, what do you think this is about? You can pause if you need to. And yes, you are correct. It is about Cinco de Mayo. I'm going to continue reading. Cinco de Mayo is celebrated on May 5th each year. It marks a battle between the Mexican and French armies. The historic event took place in 1862. It is called the Battle of Puebla. The French army tried to take over a small town called Puebla de los Angeles. But the Mexicans would not give up. They fought back against the French and won. Cinco de Mayo is a big festival in the United States. There are parades, dancing, and music. There are beautiful costumes and good food. People reenact the Battle of Puebla. Some areas of the United States have larger parties than others. For example, Cinco de Mayo is very popular in Texas, Arizona, and California. That is because there are many Mexican Americans who live there. Boys and girls, I challenge you to circle some details that you find in the main idea. Cinco de Mayo observances continue to grow in America. Now many Mexican restaurants and businesses have special events. Maybe this year on May 5th, your, it says your class can do something special to remember this day. Ask your teacher. And maybe virtually you might be having tacos. You might be having a classic Mexican dish that is representative of Mexico and its holiday, especially with all the Mexican heritage that lives in the United States. So if we are talking about the topic, we're talking about Cinco de Mayo. The details under that, I'm actually going to have you star. Star them. So that is our first read for today. I have given you a slideshow on Google Slides. And I am going to ask you to take the article that you, or to take, the document that I am providing for you at the bottom and I am going to ask you to look at a bunch of different things such as important vocabulary terms. Some of the vocabulary terms are festival, reenact, and observances. I am going to ask you if you need to to use your dictionary on your iPad if you have a child's dictionary anything like that. It is important, especially when reading, to take our time as we are reading and to read out loud and fluently. Though we are not recording ourselves read for this one, it is really important that throughout the next couple days that we take the time to really think about the many different ways we can look at this article. Another thing that I was going to talk to you a little bit about is author's purpose. Why do you think the author is writing this piece? Is he doing it to entertain you? Is he doing it to inform you? Is he doing it to persuade you that? Cinco de Mayo is the best holiday and that it should be twice a year or, or that for another reason, maybe. Um, what do you think? Is he funny? Is he serious? Is he sad? Think about these things as you work and I would love to hear your comments below. Thank you, boys and girls.